Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Bucks Coins and welcome to the channel. Today I have an animal coin hunt which I've designated number 19. We start off with the Canadian one dollar coin. It's from 1988 and it has on the reverse the loon duck. These coins are sometimes called loonies for obvious reasons. The mintage of this coin for 1988 was 138 million 893,539 Yay! We stay in Canada for the second coin which again shows Her Majesty as on the, uh, on the coin on the obverse and then the reverse shows Is that a beaver? Yeah, it's the beaver Building his dam. It's a five cent coin from 1972. The mintage for the 1972 coin was 62 million 417,387. Whoops. Next coin is from Greece. It is a t one Demarian it's from 1973. The obverse there shows a phoenix, and on the reverse we have an owl, a metal owl, and that metal owl was the symbol of the goddess Athena. The mintage for this coin was 45,218,431. This one again is a Canadian coin, it's a 25 cents from 1984. On the reverse shows the caribou and the mintage for this coin was 121,668,000. This particular coin is from South Africa. It seems to be squared within the circular format. It shows the coat of arms of South Africa and the year. The year is 1991. It is two rand and the value for that, the vintage for that coin for that year was 39,243,000. The reverse shows an antelope which is the greater Kindu. Okay, the next one is Canadian, shows the, Her Majesty the Queen again, and on the reverse is the one that's a little bit different. This shows a Mountie celebrating 100 years of the Mountie Police of, of Canada. It's an 1873 to 1973 100th anniversary. The coin as a Mountie holding up the maple leaf flag. The mintage for this coin, for this 100 year anniversary coin, is 134,958,589. The next coin is the Gassi Burgussy the Giant from Icelandic Myth. It's an Icelandic one kroner coin from 2007. Is it 2007 or 17? Whoops. 2007. This coin was minted. And the mintage for that year was 10 million coins. On the back we have the one kroner designation plus the cod fish, which is very pro prolific in the Icelandic waters, or so I'm led to believe. The next three coins I want to show you are actually Hungarian coins. They're all the same, five foreign. 
on the back they have the crane the blue crane coin um, I don't have any mintage figures for any of the three years uh, here on this particular coin so there you go that's that one out of the way next one is actually a fourth five foreign too Now, the years that was there was 1993 was 37 million 180 thousand. 97 was 20 million 7 thousand. 99 was 29 million and 7 thousand. Uh, sorry, 25 million and 7 thousand. And 2016 was 28 million 7 thousand 510. So that's the five, five, those are the four or five foreign coins showing the crane, the blue crane. The next coin is from Cyprus. It's five cents from 1988. It has on it the um, coat of arms of Cyprus, which is laurel or possibly palm fronds. And then uh, the shield in the centre with the dove in it. On the other side we have the value of five cents and we have a this particular drawing that this came from was one that was found in caves in, Cy in Cyprus itself. They're not sure how old the drawing is but it is very ancient and there are a lot of pottery and what have you with this ancient design on it. The mintage for this coin from 1988 was five million and sixty thousand. The next coin, it says, trying to get hold of it without taking to it once, is from Jamaica. On this one you can see Jamaica and the coat of arms on the, on the obverse. It's five cents from 1987. The mintage for this coin was 13,166,000. And on the reverse, it shows a crocodile on a rock. The next coin is a South African coin. The portrait that you can see at the front is of a man called Van, de, uh, uh, Van Rybeck. It, is, it has on the reverse, it has a blue crane with a five cent mark. This was from 1965 and the mintage was 32,689,999. Yeah, here we go. Oh. This one has a Barbadian. It's from the Bahamas, so it has a Barbadian coat of arms. It also has a year of 1998 on it. There are no mintage figures for this particular one cent coin. However, the design on the rear it's a starfish. This one is a Zimbabwe coin. It's 10 cents. The tree that you see there is a boa, boa, boabab tree. There are no minted figures for this particular Zimbabwean coin. And the reason I have it in an animal coin hunt is on the front the Zimbabwean coin has the Zimbabwe bird. Next coin in this animal coin hunt, whoops, is from Malta. And there we have the Maltese coat of arms and the year of 1991. There is, it is a common coin so there is no mintage of that particular coin. It is a one cent coin, it is a low value coin 
and on the reverse the animal is a weasel. We go back to Canada for the next coin. So we have the portrait of Her Majesty the Queen. And the reason why it's on there, we have a bird in flight. It's a one cent coin. It's to mark the 100th anniversary. And I think there was a seabird sanctuary or something along those lines, which was actually celebrated. The 100 years was 1867 to 1967. The mintage for this celebratory coin, this centenary, centenary coin, was 3300, start again Stephen, 345 million, 140,645. The next one is from Malaya. It has The hibiscus flowers on the one cent, on the one cent, and it has a drum on the background, and the drum is known as a ribana ubi. The mintage for this coin is 172 million two hundred fifteen thousand six hundred ninety-one. The year was from 1991. I am not sure why this is in an animal coin hunt. It seems to have snuck in there. The last but one coin in this particular hunt is a five or. We have a it's from 1974. It has a mintage of 31,150,223. The reason was the Finnish symbol that's on the front is a Finnish griffin, which is a, a is an animal or a a heraldic animal that is made up of several other animals griffin type features the final coin is South African and there's the South African coat of arms we'll get it the right way up, there we go it's a two cent coin from 1996 we have on the reverse of this particular two cent coin it's one of the two, this is a fish eagle the mintage for this 1996 coin is 305 million. Wow, that's a hell of a mintage. Right, let's... And here are the coins that I've shown you in the past. They're bagged up, they're ready for me to sort out into flips. And then going on to eventually New Mister. I hope you've enjoyed this hunt, and if you have, would you please kindly give me the thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, I would be extremely happy f to see you subscribe, and to follow me through my rest of my journey through coins and banknotes, etc. I've made no bones about it, I want to grow my channel this year, and I need the help of people like yourselves in liking the videos and also subscribing to the channel. This will help put me in front of new people who've never seen my videos before according to the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, thank you very much for staying to the end. If you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you're buying coins, I hope you can find the coins you want for the price you want to pay. And until we meet up again on this channel, which I hope will be very shortly, I do do four different videos a week, so hopefully you'll find something to like and something you want to watch. And until we meet up again and you see this, see one of my videos from me, bye-bye now. Ta-da!